close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing. And if long breathing feels comfortable, keep it up. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. Make it shorter, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to get in touch with what the body needs right now. Because we're so rarely in touch with the present moment. Most of our thoughts go off to the future, off to the past. We jump in and it's like a little kid running through the house, picking up his sandwich and then running out again. Come to the present moment for a minute, then you're off someplace else. Just now spend some time right here. See if you can actually get your attention to stay with the present moment, with the breath, without any interference. Other thoughts may come in, but you don't have to pay attention to them. Think of someone off in another corner of the room talking. You don't have to get involved with the conversation. It doesn't involve you. Even if it does involve you, you don't need to get entangled right now. Because the mind needs this place to rest. It needs a place to step out of its thoughts. So this is what we're trying to develop, a sense of sensitivity to the breath, a sense of being at home with the breath. So when the storms of your thoughts get wild, like the wind of the past two days, you can have a place to step out. You have a secure place, a safe place where you can go, not get blown around by your thoughts. And the fact that your awareness is here with the present moment, that's healing both for the mind and for the body. The mind needs its place to stay, and the body needs somebody looking after it. Otherwise, you're like a person who runs away from home, and then you come back and you don't like the way the home looks because it's all dirty, it's full of insects and mice and other things that have come since you left, and so you go running off again. The house never gets taken care of. But as you work with the breath energy, that's the energy that not only brings the air in and out of the lungs, but also keeps your sense of feeling going throughout the body. The energy that goes through the nerves. You can have a sense of that and see where it's blocked, where it's not flowing very easily, and you can open things up. You get the body benefits and the mind benefits as well, because you're staying here together. If they go their separate ways, the mind doesn't have a good solid place to settle in, and the, the body doesn't have anyone looking after it. Both end up suffering. So it takes some time to settle in here, bring your body and awareness into alignment. So they're working together. It's when they work together that they then accomplish things that they couldn't accomplish when they're working separately. So keep working at this skill. There are a lot of distractions out in the world that will tell you that other things are more important. But the well-being of your mind, the well-being of your body, you're the one that's responsible for that. You can't hand, handle the, hand the responsibility off to somebody else. So take care of what you're responsible for right here, and a lot of other things will take care of themselves. <laughs>